Dearest Marie, today I am not allowed, so that your last hand is here. Let's, I'm sorry, is that your note? Fuck you. Let me see if you've got off a raw foot here. It's my fault, I assure you. I didn't mean to. Where are you going? You're not leaving, are you? Hey, come back. What did you call me? Alan. You used to like that nickname back in the days. Marina said Lee sounded too Chinese, so she called you Alan. Of course, I don't have to call you Alec. How do you know what Marina calls it? Oh, well, I thought you'd be. Listen. Born in New Orleans, October 18, 1939. Father Robert died before your birth. Crazy mother Marguerite. Dropped out of high school age 17, joined the Marines, court martial twice. Defected to the Soviet Union in October 1959, defected back June 1962. Married Marina Nikolaevna after two children, June and Rachel. Current employment, stop for her. Kept his school book depository, Dallas, Texas. Oh, and this morning. Depressed over your estrangement for a while, confused you as a dismal and pathetic failure. You rose her. Kissed your sleeping children, put your last hundred dollars and your wedding ring into a debit task, about which Marina's mother gave you for a wedding present. You can't hear to kill yourself. Who are you? I'm your friend, Lee. I don't have any friends. Yes, you do. You just haven't met them yet. Show me your badge. Oh, uh, you bastards think you're so smart. I know my rights. You try to interrogate me in my place of business, I can sue you for harassment. Oh, you think I'm with the FBI? I've got a right to see your badge. Search me, do you? think you're gonna ask for them, search me. The FBI? You really love those morons, huh? Hell, why wouldn't you? Nobody else cares. If you've ever died, those guys can't get enough of you. How's your day, dude? Selling any secrets to the Soviets? Sabbath calls any defense flights? Can't go off your shoes. Tell us all about it. That's all you ever wanted, is Somebody pay attention to you. Someone, someone hear about your day. Someone, anyone, your mother, Mother Russia, the Marine, your wife, Marie. Attention must be paid. What's that mean? It's from a play. About a sailor. A man very much like you. Intellect, proud. A decent man who tries and tries, but just never seems to get a break. So he does something dumb. When things go really sour, when he realizes his life is a failure built on lies, he kills himself. And when he's dead, his wife stands at his grave and says, Attention must be paid! Attention to this poor, misguided no one. Let me tell you something, Lee. I'm an actor, and I'm a good one. But Willie Norman is a part I could never play. I don't think you should either. I don't know what you're talking about. What is it you want? You know so much, why don't you tell me? Well, you want what everybody wants. To be appreciated. To be valued. To be in people's thoughts, to have them think about you and smile. You want somebody to love you. Right? Isn't that it? Lee? Kind of looks like it. Yes, you get What? It's a fantasy. You've got to give it up. I'm going to kill myself. Don't you think I've given it up? No, I think you're going to kill yourself because you think that's how to get it. When I'm dead, then they'll be sorry. When I'm dead, they'll know how much they love me. When you close your eyes, you see the funeral, don't you, Lee? The gentle rain has fallen. People holding umbrellas, serene, weeping quietly. Your sobbing children clutching at her skirts. Your mom, your dad, every box who ever finds you. Stop that box! I'm sorry, Lee. It's just so childish. It's so dumb. Think like it's dumb? If I shouldn't kill myself, what should I do? Go home? Back in and take me back? Leave with her, beat her up! You're right on that, it doesn't work. I know it doesn't work, so tell me what I should do! You should kill the president of the United States. <laughs> what? His plane landed at the airport 15 minutes ago. He's coming into town to make a speech. His motorcade's going to go right by that window. When it does, you shoot. 
you're nuts. Maybe I am, so what? I didn't come here to suit the president. He didn't come here to get shot. <laughs> <laughs>
outside of it. That's America. A land of opportunity where any kid can grow up to be president. It's shining city to me. It's shining so bright you've got to shade your eyes. But in here, this is America too. The mass of men need lives of quiet desperation. And America said that, and he was right. There are no lives of quiet desperation yet today. <laughs> desperation, yes. But quiet? I don't think so. Today we're going to make a joyful choice.
premiere of a musical is coming up on June the 12th and will be running for several days. We want to make sure you know about this premiere and make sure you call today and order your tickets. Good friend of all of ours here at uh, the Channel 31 studios, Tom Parker, joins us today. Tom will be on stage. He's been on stage in numerous productions uh, here in the area. Is this the first time, though, that you performed uh, down at the, uh, the Apollo? It'll be my first time at the Apollo, yes, but uh, several of the other people in the cast have done a lot of work down there. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Assassins, because the Peoria premiere is special for everyone here, isn't it? Yes, it's one of uh, the first two productions allowed by Stephen Sondheim and his uh, rental agency to be done outside of New York. So it's really a coup for, uh, for Peoria en Entertainment. Yeah. How did they pull this off? Did they just have a real good working relationship? They're yeah. well respected here? Yes. Uh, they've done several shows through the rental agency, Music Theater International, and they just have a, a good relationship with them. Uh, if they had to pull any certain strings, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> We're just I'm, glad I, they pulled I, them. I'm very glad. <laughs> what uh, is the plot of The Assassins? Well, there isn't so much a plot as it just tells the story the stories of the different, of different, assassins. different assassins and would-be assassins, drawing parallels between their motives and tying the whole thing together with uh, music. Mm -hmm. What types of assassins will be watching? Well, uh, John Davis, for example, will be uh, portraying John Wilkes Booth. Mm -hmm. uh, Lee Wanger, who's very f familiar to uh, local Wanger. audiences, is uh, um, Gazzara, mm -hmm. Giuseppe Gazzara, couldn't think of the name right away, who uh, Took a shot at FDR, but instead shot and killed uh, Mayor Cermak of Chicago. There is John Hinckley, uh, Lynette Squeaky Fromm, Sarah Jane Moore, and, and several others. what about your character? Who are you playing, Tom? I get to be Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> what, what kind of a role is that for you to play, being an well, actor? Uh, oh, it, it's the chance of a lifetime, especially at this point in history, the movie JFK sure. having just come out. Yeah. But there's so much historical fact in the rest of the show people will be thrown for a loop when we get to the Oswald um, climax of the show, actually, mm -hmm. because it sort of becomes a, an episode of the Twilight Zone, because there's so much controversy and, and so many theories about did Oswald act alone in killing JFK, uh, it takes a turn. Well, we're not going to tell them what no, turn it not. takes. No. All right. Now, this is a, a joint production, is it not, to do yes. the show? Yes, between uh, the Public Theater Company of Peoria and the Apollo Fine Arts Center and Entertainment Complex. Mm -hmm. Now, when will you open? Uh, opening date is June 12th, 13th, and 14th at 8 o'clock, and then the following weekend, uh, the 18th, 19th, 20th, and 21st, again at 8. Mm -hmm. And are tickets available now? Yes, they are. Any numbers we can call? Uh, two numbers you can call for reservations, 673-4343 uh, and 676-7722. And what about ticket prices? Uh, $10. $10, and that's it? Yes. That's not bad at all. Plenty of good mm -hmm. seats still available? Y yes, there are. And it will be at the Apollo downtown? Right, uh, directly across the street from, from the courthouse. Is that an interesting place to work quickly because there's so much history it, there they've, as well? They've done a wonderful job restoring that place and it is fun to step out on that stage. All right, Tom, thanks very much. Can't wait to see you in his new role. Well, the way we see him around here, nothing comparable to the role he's playing on stage. But again, if you need tickets or more information on the shows, uh, call the two numbers Tom mentioned just a short time ago. The musical production has opened in Peoria, focusing on a most unlikely topic for a musical, Assassins. News 31's Karen Adams reports. It's definitely a bizarre theatrical experience that you'll either love or hate. At least that's what the play's director says, and she may be right. But it is a musical in which we deal with all these different assassins, their feelings, their reasons, and a look at the society of the United States and how it might possibly be uh, supportive of this kind of, of, uh, of happening, just in the fact that we let everybody be free uh, to have the right to do whatever they want to do. Cast members had to do a lot of research to learn what the true assassins of yesteryear had running through their minds. Portraying the assassins left the actors feeling strange themselves, to say the least. It's just very strange to have had my hair cut. I don't have the mustache on in that scene, but to have my hair cut and the clothes that he was arrested in, the same kind of costume, it's just a very eerie feeling. It's, it's really weird. I, I did a lot of research for Charlie Manson, and 
that is just a bizarre, <laughs> bizarre story. And so playing her, I feel kind of psychotic, kind of crazy. But it's fun. It's just a, very different. The musical is playing in Peoria and in Dallas. It's the first time this show has left New York to debut in smaller cities. We've decided that people either love it or they'll hate it, that there'll be no in-between between, between it, uh, their, their thoughts on it. Um, we, we find it maybe it will be offensive to some people, but we think that sometimes people being offended is a positive thing because it makes us look twice at some of the things that are happening in our country and maybe try to correct them a little bit later. If you want to catch the musical, it plays through this weekend and next weekend at the Apollo Theater. Karen Adams, News 31.